it a red flag if your girlfriend got a boy best friend? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it too. <laughs> Hey, if you went to, if you have a girlfriend, that's like you should be. I'm your only best friend. Okay. Guys have intentions. Guys have intentions. Not me though. See, not bro. me though. Yeah, not yeah. me not though. Us. Not, not, not us. Not us. Not us. Not us. You can not trust us. this podcast not right us. here. For sure. Like, for sure. Bro, you seen the Drake leaks? I did not. He's lying. Nah, dead ass. I have not. Dead ass. I have not. I have not. I don't want to look at that. You want to see them? No. Well, Weritas or Moranitas? Ooh, be careful what you're saying right now. <laughs> I do have a complaint about the party, though. $10 a hot dog? That's crazy, bro. <laughs> bro, yes, we were all talking about that, bro. $10, not even outside of the clubs. They're like bro, seven yeah. bucks. Dude, bro. I don't know who he thought he was, but $10? He, he was just flipping bro. the same sausage. Like they, was gonna no buy one it. was buying that motherfucker, bro. Hey, you ever start OnlyFans? <laughs> Would I ever start OnlyFans? Yeah. That's a good question. He's like, hell yeah, link it by your... Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's already up. <laughs> <laughs>20 seconds. Oh, you gotta take 10 hey, for Nano. Hey, fuck it, just kill it. Yeah, oh, bro, kill it, kill it. That's light work, light work. Mom, that is juice. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, All right. That's right. Just to get the, the, the nerves out, you know what I'm saying? You good? <laughs> that shit is nasty. Oh, my fucking God. So, <laughs> you good? Yeah, so guys, um, the very first time that me and Nano actually kind of met David, kind of, I say kind of because it was kind of briefly, it was at Tocada out here in uh, Oakland. So for the people that know, we don't know, we're from the Bay Area. And um, it's funny because that Tocada actually got shot up. If you remember, yeah. it was the Oakland one. It was like, um, 
it was bad. It was like it was like everyone was like, I have actually have a video of the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of briefly met you that day. It was just kind of like, oh, like what's up, like yeah, David, I don't think we actually right? like Helen introduced herself. Like, yeah, 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 it was yeah. just kind of like what's up, and then you had like people around you, whatever. Um, but yeah, that that shit got shot up, but like. I feel like it's we're kind of used to it, right? I don't yeah. know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but every time we're at the <laughs> like nothing, it was already expected. Yeah, like is there any other like crazy like thing that you know that the tocada you're like, oh yeah, this one time like at it went toca? down. Not just any toca oh, or like any toca? event you got invited to, you know? Damn near all of them end up getting either shot <laughs> up. Damn. Yeah, damn near all of them. Yeah, one time they shut down the street and um over there on High Street. Yeah, and supposedly my. Yeah, yeah, even even this Saturday. Um, we oh, was, yeah, yeah, yeah this Saturday, Saturday was yeah. an event. <laughs> Cows pulled up like six, seven times. Fucking at the end, you know, crazy out here in the ghetto, but. Yo, my car got bipped into. Yo, my oh, my God, man. yes, bro. Oh, you didn't <laughs> see? No. Yeah, they broke into, uh, the car was driving, and then the two other ones in front. Did they take anything? No, nah, they just did it, like, for fun. Because they tried breaking the front window, too, but the Mazda had on the, the little oh, dots right there. Because they're trying to break into it. Yeah. Uh, we actually, like, I was with him when he found out, and I parked, like, a block away from him, and I was like, no way. I was like, don't tell me they did it with my car, too, and I want to go check, and my car was fine, though. But, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They didn't want to touch the, the Ferrari or nothing. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> blue nah, but, yeah, and then um, when was the second time that we actually got to meet him? Like, actually, My first time meeting him was at Marca Registrada. That shit was hella cool. I walk in and I see David. I knew who he was. I was like, oh shit, that's him. And then, um. Started fangirly. A little I bit. Did, bro. I started, like, <laughs> yeah, I remember I like signed his back or something. <laughs> yeah, bro. You signed my back. I got it on my forehead and everything. But I seen him and I was like, oh shit, that's him. And then we started talking little by little. And then, um, I think we, we really started talking is when I got the roses. And we started oh, walking yeah, around. yeah. That was a good idea, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told him I got hella roses from the back room. I don't know if we were allowed to or not, but I grabbed some. And I was like, hey, we should give these out. And we went walking around. I think they even told you, right, to not give them out? Or, like, I, like you shouldn't touch them? Yeah, they said don't grab no more. The second <laughs> you wanted to grab there, more. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to grab more. But I grabbed hella roses. I gave some to Chris. I gave some to David. We walked around. We were just giving it to people. And David got, like. Ten girls walking up to him, bro. Like, yeah, it's because they were asking for his ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's serious. But yeah, we went. We walked around, and I seen that hella fans were coming up to you, and they started dancing with you and yeah. asking for hella pictures. I thought it was hella cool. Um, I think another question we have is like, what's I guess like the when was the first time someone came up to you? That's one. And what was the craziest experience you've had with a fan? Ooh. All right, so I say the craziest <laughs> one. Like, no one has actually topped that one. I think I was in Picolandia, and then my boy Eddie, because, like, I think the, that was also the very first time people started, like, taking pictures with me, because my boy Eddie was like, hey, you should come down to LA and go to Pico. I was like, I've never been to Pico. He's like, you should come. Like, probably people are going to recognize you. I was like, nah, I doubt it. I was like, I'm, I don't consider myself big, you know? Mm -hmm. And he was like, nah, trust me, trust me. Like, he's like, I, I knew who you were, like, before we actually, like, that was the first time I met him, too. And he was like, oh, yeah, pull up. So we pull up. Hell, of people at the entrance just started swarming at us. <laughs> And I start taking pictures with people, and then he's like, uh, he's taking pictures of, of like, with his fans and shit. And then this girl's like, hey, like, David looks kind of cute. Like, would you mind if I kiss him? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know, obviously. I was over here taking pictures with some mm -hmm. other girls. And then Eddie's like, nah, fuck it, go for it, go for it. He won't mind. So she runs up to me. That was a crazy one. She, like, runs up to me and just kisses me on the cheek. And I'm like, what the fuck? And... <laughs> Caught you off guard? Yeah, yeah. hella off guard. Damn. Hella off guard. You just like, oh, that's kind of fucked. That's that's kinda I'm waiting for somebody coming up to me and do Nah, it's good. Uh, <laughs> nah, uh, that's were, crazy. Were you scared? Were you like, oh shit? I just had, caught me hella off guard because that was like my first time actually taking pictures with people too. Uh -huh. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, even kisses stuff, man. <laughs> he uh, kisses I wonder what I could get next. <laughs> <laughs> shit, who knows, bro? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> you, do you remember the first time somebody came up to you? It was like, oh, like, can we get a picture? Uh, I think it was just, like, younger people, like, around um, my neighborhood, just, like, little kids. They'd be like, oh, like, I seen your live. And I was like, oh, that's cool, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it actually didn't get to, like, my age to, like, probably, like, when I started going out to buy lists and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how, how does it, how does that feel? Because, like, especially out here in the Bay Area and sometimes, um, like, these past two events that we've gone with you, like, yeah. you get a lot of love from, from all the females, guys. Like, everyone's, like, really fuck with you out here in the Bay. So how does that, that feel, you know, that? All well, that hard like, work pays off, you know? Bro, yeah, I mean, walking I'm still... in like the president and shit. With <laughs> the bag, I'm like, damn. Nah, I'm still getting used to it. Yeah, I'm still getting used to it. It's not something that, like, you know, I didn't grow up, like, on social media. It just barely started. 
But um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of cool though. Yeah, right. yeah it's, it's really cool. Yeah, All the love and cool. shit. Yeah, and then, like, when I go out to events, like, even my boys be telling me, like, nah, let's not go to the VIP section. Sometimes we'll go. Like, when we were at the one on, what was it, Saturday? No, it wasn't Saturday. It was, like, last, last Saturday, Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Last Saturday, we went there. But usually we're in general because, like, we like to call me beer with everybody. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. When, how, okay, well, when you do TikToks, of course, you do a girl voice <laughs> and a guy, whatever, right? How did that come through your head or how did that even start? Like, what made you, like? So first, when I had initially started doing uh, like any kind of social media, I was in a relationship, and so I would rely on like you know like David and this person, David and this person for my relationship videos and shit. But then when we broke up, my friends were like, "You should still do your videos," and I was like, "How? I don't got like the girl anymore." And like, I don't know, you'll come up with something. So I was like, "What if I play both parts?" <laughs> so then I started doing both parts. At the beginning, it was like the same voice, and then I found out about like how to edit the voice. And make it all work, so that's how I that's how I do it. How it started. Yeah, that's that's how cool. I feel like the videos do really well and they're super funny because all of them are super relatable. Yeah. Like you see it and you're like, Oh, that shit has happened to me and stuff. It's like so would you say that those videos are from like things you experience as well, like past relationships or like with females? Yeah, damn near all of them are like very like something that I actually experienced. Um and then I found out that if I experienced with a female, most likely hella guys experience it with their females too. Mm. So I just kept making those kind of videos. But yeah, they're all pretty relatable. <laughs> <laughs> no, but do you remember your first uh, TikTok that blew up that you were like, whoa, hold up? I think it was just that toxic girlfriend. I just kept doing that toxic girlfriend part one, part two, mm. part three. And they were like, nah. Oh, because I'm in a group chat with like other creators. Mm -hmm. And they're like, nah, like change the, you know, like the whole, the text on it too to make it more like specific. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I, I seen I seen I think it was Arizona was it Arizona that there was oh like, yeah, yeah. Was a house full of people yeah how was that bro that was my very first like actual big um I don't know collab with like a whole bunch of people that's how I met like a lot of my friends right now actually that's it was kind of crazy because like I only knew one creator at the time like right there and then he they introduced me to a lot of them oh that day that uh we went to Picolandia that's when I met everybody because. At the hotel that I had gotten with my boy Eddie, um, all of our neighbors were like at the hotel. They were like everybody that did social media. Oh so really? Like, oh yeah, like, like just tap in, do some plans for like Arizona. So I was like, fuck it, we on it. Oh shit! Yeah, I seen that and I was like, damn, I was like, hell it was a lot. Like, it was a lot. There was a video of, like hella guys just doing like yeah, some yeah. dance. <laughs> that's yeah, that's a lot. It's, I'm like, bro, that's that's Loki smart as fuck. Yeah, this was nice. I feel like it's just a vibe too. All yeah. you all, like creators making content and stuff, chilling. So that's cool. Also, it like. It benefits because I feel like it's uh easier to be more creative with other people yeah. you know, instead of doing it by yourself. Cause uh, we be vlogging as well too, and uh, we had this one junior H vlog, and we had a uh, that day we kind of pulled up deep with other friends that kind of do content as well, and I feel like that's one of our best vlogs because like they just made it way more entertaining yeah. and stuff. And then later on, me and him went to Peso Pluma concert, and it was just me and him, and it was a little harder, you know, to like make content or to like talk to the camera, so. Yeah, we got fucked up too fast, bro. Like two people <laughs> trying to go shopping. Yeah, shit, like, it was it was not it. Yeah, bro. no, and then you get like different kind of vibes too. Like with different creators, then you guys feel like hello more open mm. to do crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. J just like uh me, like us, us right here. You know, um, since we met you, you've been hella cool and shit. You was always down to like, yeah, let's do the podcast. Da, da, da. So like, no, no, we're here. I don't, I don't even remember, but before last Saturday, you came up to me, you're like, you were pretty drunk. I don't know if you remember this or not. You were like, <laughs> you know what I'm talking but, about? No. no. <laughs> you, came up to, you, you came up to me, you were like, bro, I hella fuck with you, bro. I'm like, you're hella cool. I'm like, nah, he lying, bro. We he need lying. to do nah. the podcast. Bro. Oh, I do remember that. Remember then. That? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because, bro, when I met you guys, I, like, clicked with you guys instantly. Like, at um, the market, he said that. I was like, oh, these guys are cool as fuck. I was like, I need to be with them. Because you guys had your own little group of people, and I was just with... um. My sister and her friends, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so we were just like, I clicked with you guys instantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, that's what I was going to say. You said we clicked, and I was like, I ain't going to lie, yeah. And that kind of helps that we're from the Bay and stuff, but like, yeah. you're just hella cool. Every time we go out, it's always a vibe and stuff. And Brazy always be coming along, too, and he's hella yeah. cool, too. So everything yeah, is kind of cool. cool. So Shout out to boy Brazy. Shout out, Shout out to boy Brazy. Brian? <laughs> that's crazy, bro. His name. I also wanted to ask, um, obviously, with all the love that you get, there's also like hate that comes with it. It's yeah. like part of the being an influencer. Um, how do you deal with it? Honestly, at the beginning, uh, there was a little hate, 
but I would just always ignore it. I would always ignore it because that's how I started social media. Like it was because I was a very shy person, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna do social media to be more out there. So obviously there was like hate when I was doing it in um, junior, mm -hmm. like junior year, and um, just ignore it. But right now there's not actually that much hate. Yeah, right now people yeah, just like it's more love. You go on yeah. people. Yeah. yeah. Did your parents always like support you with like social yeah. media? Yeah, at the stuff? beginning they would support me until I made it a full time. They were like. I think you should rethink this. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what's it called? Then I started, like, showing them that I could, like, help out with the house. And then I got my own place. And they're like, oh, you know what? I think he got it. So That's now they support it, yeah. What you do That's with cool. your first check? Ooh. <laughs> I think I blew it all. <laughs> <laughs> On the buzz ball? No, I think, <laughs> I think I blew it all, like, instantly. I'm not going to lie. I, I forgot on what I did. I forgot what I did with it. But it was a... Uh, that's a good check. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. Yeah. He's like, fuck, I should have saved that check. I should have, bro. I should have. Yeah. Um, wow, I just had a brain. How, how, uh, so how, how bad do you think, uh, joining the, what's it called? The creativity program, right? Yeah, on like TikTok? Yeah, the beta program. Yeah, so when you join that, um, how, how did it feel like getting, when you start seeing that you can actually make money? Like, were you working at the time and you were like, you know what? I'm going to just quit right here, right there. Or like, it took a couple, months for you to be like you know what i think yeah you know i'm good to like do this for a full-time job yeah well at the beginning um i had noticed that i was already doing videos that were minute long and that's like required for the beta program but then i had got like go because like of the whole weather and everything and i would do sheet metal like roofing mm -hmm. so like because of the weather like they have to let some people go because there's not that much jobs and shit so I was like, you know what? I either do this social media full time or I go look for another job. And I could have obviously look for another job, but I was like, nah, like I got to chase this, you know, like how to keep going and shit. And um, I could have gotten paid like way sooner, but I had to fix like my phone number and my bank account and the thing. So it took months. Oh, yeah. But as soon as uh, TikTok hit me up with the, oh, we fixed it. Like, it was like go time. Yeah. Was, Tunnel like, vision. Time. Everything, everything. <laughs> like, I was saving a lot of videos for that time when it was, they told me that it was ready. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you ever run out of, um run out of ideas? Yeah. Not, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I run out of ideas, I mean I always got my boys to like help me out with some ideas or um I'm in a it's like a note group chat like in your notes. Mm. So like people share their notes with you yeah. and uh, everybody just writes down like um like ideas right there and we just grab on from there. Mm. And since I do like that girlfriend does this, I change it from what they do from that friend that does this so instead okay. of that friend i do that girl so it fits to your content yeah, yeah. and we like all that. just grab it like that friend that cousin we got like people that do like you know that brother that sister mm -hmm. yeah and how many mm -hmm. videos don't make like the cut like like nah um <laughs> honestly like it depends on like your imagination on what you want to put on that video because like they just put the titles in the notes uh -huh. so i just put like the title of what the video is and now you just got to make it funny mm -hmm. so it's really up to you how, lo how long does it take for you to make a video my friends have seen me make a video in like five minutes. Five, <laughs> five minutes, wow. like make it and edit and upload it. Damn. We but could. sometimes it could take longer though. Sometimes it could take like thirty minutes. We yeah. take weeks. We take <laughs> yeah, it takes weeks. <laughs> it says we're kind of we're, we're really picky. That's yeah. Hey, but bro. you guys' videos are like bigger though. Like you guys like yeah, you're just yeah. Bigger. We, we we hella picky. We don't like it. We're like nah, we can't post this, and it's not. That's not how you're supposed to. Yeah, we were here <laughs> probably for like fifteen minutes trying to fix that camera. Like, just yeah. like trying to make sure it looks fine, and we're yeah. like, but I mean, I yeah. think it's I think it's time for another shot. Another shot. Another, not not gonna start. No, come on, another one, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Right, yeah, bro, come on, I know out here right, hitting right, the right. gym. Right come on, man. <laughs> while, while he's taking a shot, do you have any, uh like, bottle or anything that, like, has you traumatized? Yeah, you look at it, and you're like, I'm not going to drink that. Henny, for sure. I don't <laughs> fuck with Henny. Yeah, I don't fuck with Henny at all. One time I did say, because I had bought in a class of suit one time for, like, a special event, and I don't mm -hmm. really buy bottles, like, you know, like that kind the of those the bougie bottles. ones yeah those bougie <laughs> bottles um i just buy like buzz balls or the julio 70s like the stamp ones because you know we from the bay, yeah, we from the bay. <laughs> <laughs> but um after i was like killing that one and they gave me a shot of henny that's all i remember Dang. just the henny shot and that's what messed me up that night henny, so, henny for sure got me traumatized i can't touch henny well, i recommend I henny. you recommend henny uh, no, no i recommend oh. <laughs> evil juice evil which juice. one evil juice Ah, uh, evil juice. Nah, it's like a E and J. E and J. Yeah, it's like a cheap henny, and <laughs> oh, that's shit. that's me and Nano's like bottle that we look at it. We're like, nah, I'm going. Oh, home. another one too. The fireball. I've never tried fireball, but 
Just looking at it looks dangerous. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna lie. It's good. It, Fireball it, is good. It, it I heard like, it's good, it's but like, I also think it's dangerous as fuck, too. It tastes like cinnamon. Yeah. cinnamon? Straight yeah. cinnamon. Like, a little spicy. <laughs> a little spicy, but it's kind of good, though. I, yeah. I don't mind it. It's good, though. You're these alcoholics, bro. What the crazy? I already took my shot. <laughs> Alcoholicos, bro. <laughs> it right, tastes bro. good and stuff. Hey, I gotta put you guys on. <laughs> I don't even, to be honest, I don't even like Fireball like that. Uh-huh. But. I don't even drink. Oh, okay. Hey, pop the clip. <laughs> um, I was gonna ask. So, you do music? Oof. How did how did that start, or like what what made you like go do that? Well, I was always like um very into like learning every single like letter in the lyrics, like for other people's songs. And then my cousins would actually tell me like you should write your own music, like you actually like sing pretty good, like depending on what kind of genre and everything. But um, it was always like I would do it for fun. It was always for fun. Like I have a lot of music on my phone that I don't even upload. Like it's just for fun. But my friends are encouraging me right now to upload some, so we might see David Vlog's music coming yeah. pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, we might see that pretty soon. That'd be kind of dope. You got any Spanish? I'm trying, but like I was telling, uh, I forgot who I told from you guys. I don't know how to like make, cause for English is different. Like for English, I just gotta search up a type beat and make lyrics on the beat. But I don't know how to do it with the guitar, cause I know it's like unique, like chords yeah, that you need to chords yeah. for the song. So I don't know how that how that would work. Yeah, I, I could teach you how to play guitar for like a hundred an hour. Oh, it's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be uh, R&B. No mas. Nice. No mas. <laughs> all he needs is a beat. That you, he, good. A beat. Is that a beat? R&B X David. Yeah, yeah. Think yeah, about it. Boom. And then Mota as the, oh. <laughs> the video. Oh, talking about Mota and stuff, you did a a music video, didn't you? Like, um, kind of like acting in the music video for oh, yeah, yeah. Porte Blindado, right? Yeah, yeah. With Eddie Chapo and, and That was my El first Barrio. music video, yeah. With, like, as an actor. Yeah. Because I had done a, a street performance with, I think it was Eddie, too. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, that was the first one. How, how was, uh, like, you know, the experience? It like was with cool. the behind the scenes and all that. Yeah, it was cool. Everybody got fucked up. One of the artists got <laughs> fucked up for sure. Yeah, we had to carry him down the stairs. That's just oh, damn. Damn. that should have been in the video. Yeah, <laughs> damn. Bad. You have, is that the only one you've done? Or you've done more? No, nah, that's the only one. Uh, yeah. oh, okay. Would you do more? Or you yeah. Do more? Well, right now I'm actually um I had done acting before. Like I went to school for acting. That's why like a lot of people when I make my videos they say like sometimes I forget that. Oh, that's one thing too. One time I went to Pico. And this girl, like, she saw me taking pictures with other fans and, well, like, supporters. And um, she's, like, she gets hella mad at me. And she's, like, I can't believe you're taking pictures with all these girls. Like, don't you have a girlfriend? I was, like, <laughs> like, I, don't a, I, was, like I don't have a girlfriend. And she's, like, she's like, what do you mean? Like, all the videos, like, you post with your girlfriend. I was, like, I was like pull up my page. And then she sees that it's me playing a role with myself. She's, like, oh, like, I thought it was, like, another girl for a second. What? She was watching half of the video. <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> So nah, that's it. That's it. He got a boy. He got a girlfriend. Damn. Hey, you, you you into toxicas or what? Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, she gotta be a little toxic. Yeah. A little toxic, huh? Yeah. Well, güeritas or morenitas? Ooh, be careful what you're saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, both. As long as she's Hispanic, Latina, you know, mm. Latina mommy. <laughs> <laughs> what was the what's the uh, first thing you like like see in the girl? I think. Like attractive, like that makes me actually. Let, let me female. rephrase that. What do you look in, in like a girl? What I look for yeah. a girl. Um, she gotta be just serious. I mean, if she's serious, like a serious female, I think it's like a plus. You know, like our parents always say, like busca talin, like seria, like una muchacha seria. Mm-hmm. But as long as she's like outgoing, like a little outgoing, she's like comfortable. You know, like oh, this is a big one for me actually. <laughs> if she got goals, she has oh, to yeah. have goals. Mm-hmm. Like nail text, lash text, brow text, or whatever, all that. That's something because, like, that's a career right there. You're doing that. Like, shout out to you guys for that. <laughs> but, like, also, like, if you're going to school, like, I think I asked her, like, if I ever talk to a female, I'll ask her, like, oh, you go to school or do you work? And, like, if she says no, nah, like, it's like a turn off. Yeah, it's kind of like a turn off. Yeah. Like, I need her to be doing something too because, like, you know, I hustle, she got to hustle with me. Mm-hmm. All the girls taking yeah. notes right now. All the nail techs are going crazy right now. They're like, I got a chance. So, like, I'm about to go get my license. <laughs> they're, they're all DMing you. They're all about to DM you through uh, Jasmine's nail tech, you know. Instead of their all personal th- page, it's going to be their nail tech. Page. All yeah, the nail yeah. tech, that's crazy. Uh, how about how about physical? Physical? Yeah. Uh, I don't really look at Escoba like, or tortas. Ahogadas. Panduce. El panduce. Nah, I don't really look at that. I feel like 
a lot of people like to lie. They be like, oh, personality over looks. I think everybody's attracted to their face first. So yeah, I'm, that's what I, I say I too. Yeah, everybody's attracted to face. Look, me, me and him always had this discussion, right? Because <laughs> we're, like, I'm like, what's not what's most important, but like, what's the first thing you you notice, right? Well, what was it? But basically, it was I think he was saying personality is more important, is. and I was kind of. I was saying looks, but not like looks is the only thing that matters. Yeah, yeah. I was just saying, I was telling him, no, no, if there's a female and you don't find her attractive, you're not going to go out of your way to, you know, talk to her, or get to know her. But if I love her personality. But how are you going to no, get to know no, her personality? No, no. <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna vibe with how are you going to know her personality if you don't go? Because I say it's going to be a 10 out of 10 for her personality shit. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah but, but you went for the 10 out of 10 first, Yeah, right? because she's a 10 out of 10. Yeah. yeah. If she wasn't a 10 out of 10, and you didn't. You probably wouldn't have to go look for personality. Even if she wasn't a 10 out of 10, I'm a good person. I'm going to go see what's up. Bro. Cap. Where's the hats at? Oh, men. Oh, that's crazy. Bro, men lie, bro. <laughs> All men lie, bro. Men lie to lie. Nah. Except David. David don't lie. Yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, no, but I think for me, for, I say, I, I think I said a couple of times, I think the first thing I notice on the female is like her smile, her, her teeth, smile? her teeth. Oh, yeah, yeah. She had good teeth and she got braces. Oh, braces is going to kill me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so tortas so and the braces? Huh? I'm like so tortas and those braces. <laughs> Bro, is that a real thing? I don't know. I don't I know. So. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Um, nah, but yeah. All right. If you're, is it is it <laughs> is it cheating if a girl dances with another guy? Oof. Uh, I had this talk with my life so many times because they're like, what if like you're at a concert with a girl and the guy calls her up to dance? I don't know. It depends. We throwing them. Like, look, <laughs> if you're at a dance with your girl, mm-hmm. saca la baila. There should be no reason for some other guy to take her out of Fact, dance if right. you're gonna dance with her. Fact. But if you let her go out, that's kind of on you. Like, <laughs> like if or like if you don't want to dance with her, that's on you. Like if you pull it to a dance and some guy comes up, uh, to dance because you're not dancing with her, that's on you. Like you gotta learn how to dance. So, so it's not. It's, it's not, not cheating. cheating. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. it's not. Cheating. Not cheating. It's on you if, if you let her dance that, with some other guy. That's cheating, bro. I, yeah, I think <laughs> I. I, I I think that's a body right there. I'm not that's a lie. body. That's two bodies. That's, that's, that's two body. bodies. If they do that, I won't care. Yeah, bro, oh my. Oh my bro. <laughs> nah, we we, we talked about this before in this podcast. Yeah. And I was like, once they do a little quebradita, it's over. You, you lost her. Yeah, that's you not your girl yeah. no more, bro. That's how they fall in love, bro. I swear to God. Ain't, ain't gonna lie, bro. Each time he swings his foot is the body. So one, two, three, four. That's each and then deep. six. And then six, six is the nah. everything. Bro. Nah. That's that plus two right there. Nah. Don't yeah, nah. I think. Hand behind. Don't forget that. Nah, hand. Bro. See, that's why. Yeah, I think it is a red flag. But like you said, if you don't want to go out of your way to learn or like at least try, you know, of course she's gonna eventually end up. Well, dancing. it's not cheating, but it kind of looks bad on the girl too. Like, why is she also gonna go dance with some other yeah. guy? Yeah. But at the same time, like, you should be dancing with your girl. Even if you don't know how to dance, girls will still, like, most girls, I hope, <laughs> like, will still dance with the, their boyfriend even if they don't know how to dance. Like, uh, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. little bit, you know, like, just to be with him at least. Yeah. At least he's trying. It's a, yeah, the yeah, thought yeah. that counts, you know what I'm saying? Is it a red flag if your girl's stronger than you? Fuck. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's different, bro. David's she should not be. Bro. I mean, come bro, on. She's strong, <laughs> bro, if she's stronger <laughs> than you, then I don't know, bro. That's, that's a body building. If she's stronger than me, then that's intimidating, so. Well, my boy Nano here said he's like, that's not a red flag because that, that's my personal bodyguard. So. <laughs> if I'm drunk, she can pr- protect <laughs> me. <laughs> he's right. I mean, or I'm tell- I was telling him, I was like. If you guys get married, she's gonna want she's gonna be the one that picks you up on your honeymoon. <laughs> she's gonna go down on her knee, bro. <laughs> right. nah. She's like, "Can you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she's this you will marry me." <laughs> Damn, it's either you gotta hit the gym more or or something. Yeah, or something. I got a new girl. I ain't gonna lie. I got another question. <laughs> I got another question. Is it a red flag if your girlfriend got a boy best friend? Yes. <laughs> 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 he knows it too. <laughs> Hey, if you with the, if you have a girlfriend, that's like you should be. I'm your only best friend. Why are you? Hold on. Omar got some letters. You good though? We got that. We got that one rolling. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> if you got a girlfriend, you know, like I should be your only best friend. I'm your only best friend. That's pretty much it. Because at the end of the day, like, all guys are gonna deny it. I mean, like if I have a girl <laughs> best friend. And like she tries to do something, like you know. Uh, <laughs> damn, he's throwing all of, all of us under the bus right now. Nah. I, I agree. Good thing I don't have no. Guys life. have intentions. Guys have intentions. Namito. 
See, not bro, me though. Yeah, not yeah. me not though. Us. Not, not, not us. Not us. Not us. Not us. You can trust this podcast right here. For sure. For sure. Nah, don't trust. But like every other guy, like we loyal. We got intentions. We loyal, bro. Us Bay guys, we loyal. For sure. Bay Area men are loyal. Most loyal men in this world, bro. Everyone looking at us right now like we crazy. It's crazy. Doing damn well. How, right. That's crazy. I was about to say, what about vice versa then? It's still red, it's a red flag, right? For the I guy. seen a video on this. <laughs> I seen a video on this that, like, what if a guy has a girl best friend? But the thing is, like, sometimes a guy can have a girl best friend that they're not hella attracted to, but the guy always has an intention. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we be saying because we know how guys think. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's kind of like. But then girls could also say, we know how girls think. You know how they be so. I, yeah. <laughs> Just but don't I, have best friends. <laughs> <laughs> just have, yeah, just, or just stick with your partner. Or just, just stay single. Friend. Yeah, just, just just a friend. Or just stay single. No nah. best friend. Friend. Nah. So I'm about, are you, you so you got a, a girl right now or are you single? No, I'm single. All the girls have All the girls are like, nah. Nah. <laughs> He's like, I got a couple. I'm nah. This man be walking into parties with ten girls behind. Ah, uh, nah, I don't know. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so what what how's the plans looking for Valentine's then? Because we're recording this what four days be- no, no two, two days two before days. Oh, yeah, before Valentine's. Right. Um the plans were well because I'm actually not it's not <laughs> like I'm gonna get a girl in two days, you know? <laughs> But like um I'm probably going to do, like, a Ramo giveaway, or, like, if I go out, I'll give away roses. Because, you know, I think everybody knows I like to give away our roses. Mm-hmm. So, that's probably what You I'm think gonna. I can get one? Of course. Okay. But, uh, I want yeah. a Ramo, though. Like, oh, did Ramo you Buchon? see how on Saturday some girl gave me a rose? Oh, I didn't, oh, see, I didn't that? see that. I was yeah. like, that's crazy. Like, oh, from the Ramo that they threw? Yeah. This girl caught it, and I think they taped it, and they gave it to me. Wow, that's, that's kind of raw. That's raw. I was like, "What the fuck?" No, it's crazy. funny. I was in the crowd when they threw it, trying to grab I it. I saw you jump, right? Yeah, I, I, I tried to jump, one. but there was short as no. Hold on, but there, there was there was <laughs> two. I saw him, like jump in front of a girl. <laughs> I was like, "Fuck!" Bro, there was two guys on top of the table, yeah, and they they jumped off of the table into the crowd to grab them. I was like, "I can't compete with that." Like, what? <laughs> but I still got I still got a rose though. Yeah, they wanted yeah. it bad. I do have yeah. a complaint about the party though. Ten dollars a hot dog? That's crazy, bro. <laughs> bro, yes, we were all talking about that, bro. Ten dollars, not even outside of the clubs. They're like bro, seven yeah, bucks, man. dude. Bro, I don't know who he thought he was, but ten dollars? He, he was just flipping bro. the same sausage, like <laughs> they, was gonna no buy one was buying that motherfucker, bro. bro I, was, I have a complaint too. I didn't even get in, bro. <laughs> you didn't, oh, <laughs> that's yeah, right, I was, that's right. I, I remember was looking yeah. outside, bro, and the security oh is like, God. "No more, no more, right?" And I'm waiting outside, and I see two motherfuckers walk in. And I go in, I'm like, "Bro, what the fuck?" And he's like, "Nah, bro, nah." He's like, "They're part of the group," and I'm like, "They were waiting outside." And he's like, "Forty dollars." Forty dollars. Yeah, he what? sure. Damn. He showed me his hand. He got. They gave him forty dollars. That's crazy because the security is my boy. No, nah, that's crazy. You should have fucking caught David, bro. David was here trying to catch Ramos too, bro. He was doing his thing. Nah, bro. I, I even grabbed the. Uh, I was trying to talk to him. He was not having it, giving me attitude, and then I started arguing with him. So I was like, damn, there goes like you know yeah, he's not yeah. for sure Any not fucking with me. Yeah. And um, I try to get White Brazy because he knows White Brazy too. Yeah. And I was trying to use White Brazy's clout. Like, you know, I was like, <laughs> this is White Brazy. Nah, I was like, but he was not having it, bro. So, but I mean, he bro. He, Abel fell asleep. He woke up kind of at the end of the party already. Yeah. So that's why, like... I woke up like at 10, bro. Like yeah, 10. when I got there, they are not letting anybody in. Yeah. They were just like, you just stay on the side with your group, and then we'll let you in later. I was like, all right, it's good. Yeah, but wow. $10 hot dog is kind of crazy. $10 is crazy. Yeah. I was yeah. hungry that day, too. <laughs> Me, too. I kept looking at my wallet. I was like, should I waste it? <laughs> hey, but one thing, it did smell good, though. It did. But $10. He knew what he was doing. There was like three stands, huh? There yeah, was, like, like one on the other side, yeah. but no line, though. Once I found out it was 10, I didn't want to check how much the other one was charging. I'm like, yeah. I'm to charge like 20 a hot dog. I should have told her to compete, huh? <laughs> oh, hey, that bro. dude's charging 10, you want to charge 9? <laughs> I, sh- I should have brought a hot dog stand, huh? Nah, he still wouldn't let you in, bro. <laughs> I feel like they would have made money if they would have probably like $5. Yeah, $5 for sure. You know $5 for sure. He would have had a line, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they, they tripping. Bro, what, what shoes were you wearing that day? Oh, what was I wearing? I was wearing my 11s, I think. Were they B after the thing? Or? Yeah, they're kind of dirty. I had just cleaned all my shoes. Bro, yeah. dude, I was wearing some was like, 11s, muddy, and they right. were white. Oh, my God, they they gone, bro. <laughs> they was hella muddy yeah, and shit. Yeah, hella muddy. <clears throat> nah, but yeah. Um, so, w- obviously, with this whole, like, TikTok and stuff, you be, like, for Marca Registrada, um, is there any other event that stood out for you, too, that you got invited to? Uh, Pancho Barraza. 
<laughs> to happen because I'm gonna do a giveaway with another ticket Bro, probably this Friday. And it's crazy we're going to that too. Actually, yeah. Oh, we there, so we there, we there. <laughs> hey guys, yeah, you know what's yeah. funny? We got a giveaway coming too for you guys. Uh, Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> That's March crazy. That's nice. in March, right? Yeah, March, yeah. March April? 9th or 3rd. What is it? 2nd? Uh, I'm not sure. Look, pop, pop up the banner right now. Right there. Boom. Mm. Y'all better pull up. It's in Oakland, right? Oakland yeah, yeah, Coliseum Oakland. or Oracle? I, I think know, it's in Oracle, right? I, I heard Dave is giving out free kisses, though. So you guys should Ooh. kind of... I am. Them. I'm putting them on boo $10. <laughs> 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 Damn, more than a hot dog. Hey, that's a good $10. I'd rather spend $10 on that than a hot dog. Yeah, you might get a hot dog, right? Oh! oh! <laughs> Hey, Tomo, I seen your, your TikTok that you was like, all right, guys, today we're going to uh, cook food, da 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 Oh, the and chorizo? And big-ass <laughs> chorizo, bro. I was like, damn. God, bro. I thought that was Drake for a second. <laughs> oh, fuck. Nah, I get confused with him a lot, yeah. Bro, you seen the Drake leaks? I did not. Uh, He's lying. Nah, dead ass, I have not. Dead ass, I have not. I have not. I don't want to look at that the point. You want to see them? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> is nah. it a red flag if your girl seen the Drake leaks? It is. Hey, it is. It is. Your girl starts listening to Drake <laughs> all of a sudden. I ain't gonna lie. As soon as the uh, the leak came, Abel started playing Drake. Bro, I've never heard Abel play Drake in my life. You the biggest fan or what? Bro, I, all of a the sudden, biggest the, biggest, biggest, fan. the <laughs> biggest fan. The biggest fan. Like, the, this man, <laughs> this man took a, a, a merch. And I was like, since when you got Drake merch? And he was like, bro, I've been a fan since 2010. <laughs> Like, it's like, a picture of him swinging that shit, like, right there. Man, it's like, a picture of his choice. With, like, helicopters shirt. all around <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but yeah, shout out Drake, though. Come on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nah. Mm-hmm. All right, bro. I feel like we need another bro. another shot. Beatbox or, or Buzzball? Beatbox. Yeah, Beatbox? Yeah. All right, bro. Hey, we're over here trying to... They got the good mix. I'm over here. Stones. I forgot. There's no I name to it, huh? Think. They just came up with that drink on TikTok? Yeah. What? Where they mix the beatbox. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 I went to a wedding like that. It made my stomach hurt. It was like a lot of juice, but it did get me messed up too. <laughs> Bro, I can't open it. Hold up, guys. I'm so sorry if we're making noise and stuff. How much do you, will you say that you drink a month? He's like, way too much. <laughs> oh, his friends are laughing, bro. That's crazy. No, because I just spilled something. Oh. <laughs> we're just going to know that chat. Chat. <laughs> chat. Oh, cut, it, cut it out. Cut it. Thank you for the galaxy. <laughs> have you ever thought about live streaming like on Twitch or something? Like, I have. Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah. Or like I was telling you guys, I want to start my own podcast. So mm. We'll see how that goes. But I'm going to need your guys' help because I don't know about all this. Well, we got you for sure. Hell yeah. Yeah. We're learning. But um, um, you said you've been, you started this like influencer thing in, like 2017, right? Yeah. Or like your, your my junior, junior year? My junior year of high school, yeah. Um, so that's, that's how many years is it, bro? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, like six years, Don't bro. Don't make me feel. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but um, people, people think like this is easy and you just get in oh, your car not. and record a quick video for yeah. TikTok, it blows up. But this is actually like really hard. Like you can see the behind the scenes of how this looks. Like it's so much that goes behind this. Um, what is some advice you would give to somebody that wants to start like being a content creator? If you haven't started, start now. Um, obviously, like I think Mr. Beast even said it too. That's another reason why he has said like the first thousand videos that you post, they're probably not gonna do good, but the thousand and one is gonna do good. So just keep going. Um, and that's another thing too, consistency. People think it's like, what do they say? Like, um, quality over quantity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That does matter. Have like a good quality on your phone and shit, but like, uh, quantity also matters a lot. Like, mm-hmm. don't give up. Post every day. I posted every day on TikTok for like two years before I saw like any kind of income at all. I posted like, yeah, yeah. One time every single day, if not like twice a day for like two years. And um, I was thinking like 30K, 10K. Mm. See, and that's, that's what people don't see. They, they just see you when you start blowing up. Yeah, and they're like, and oh, they're it's like, easy. Oh, he just blew up right now. Or yeah. like, he just started right now. He blew up right now. Like, nah, it's not what it is. Like, yeah. people start like way before that. Like, I would post my YouTube videos. That's how I started at first. It was David Vlogs. And all my friends called me David Skits. It's David Skits. <laughs> but um, what's it called? Yeah, it's just, yeah, it just post every day. Were you trying to finesse the system? And when they put David Vlogs, like David Dobrik Vlogs? But you would come up instead, you know what I mean? No, I don't know. It's just like I wanted to just do vlogs on YouTube, and that's what I was do like a lot. Like I would record myself at the mall when I was younger, like um, public interviews. Those videos are still out there. No, are you sure you're lying? They're, they're on my private. We're um, gonna search them up. Yeah, yeah. I have them privated, but if I were to unprivate them, yeah, everybody mm-hmm. can see them still. But like, I would do that, and um, yeah, I just keep doing that. Just just post a lot. Honestly. You think you ever bring the vlogs back, like YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to start doing that again. 
because uh, all the events and stuff, like maybe yeah. another Picolandia, that would, that would go crazy. I yeah, know, definitely. I want to start vlogging again. Yeah. Do you do you plan on doing any collabs with any creators in the upcoming months or months? Mm, not that I know of. No? Yeah, no. Is there anyone you want to? Somebody you're like, oh, I would love to like collab with this person. I forgot his name. <laughs> he also does like uh he also does videos like similar to what i do mm-hmm. so just people that do videos like what i do too i think those are good like to collab have you met anyone that has like a big ego a big ego yeah like he's like a couple you, i don't want to call people out right now <laughs> <laughs> my list out. nah i don't know i mean there are some people i've called them out obviously like i'm because i'm still new to like this whole social media thing uh-huh. and um What's it called? Oh, yeah. Like, a lot of people, like, you know, they'll try picking on you because, like, they think you're a TikToker and everything. Mm-hmm. But, like, you're really from the Bay. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> so like yeah, you got to defend that. So, if I do see people with ego, I'll tell them their thing. And then they'll, like, back off because they'll think, like, oh, no, he's not just a TikToker. Nah, yeah. Yeah. That's where, that's where the common shit. Would you make a video with Lalago Basie? <laughs> he's funny. I just, I, I don't really like him. <laughs> Yeah, he's fu- wait, he, Lalo, he, he, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 he's funny as fuck. I'll give him that. But nah, I he just is don't funny. like him, yeah. Bro, that How about Shadi Bay? Oh, yeah, I met Shadi Bay. Oh, you met her? Yeah, yeah, oh, she oh, follows shit. me. Oh, we're blocked, so that's a whole different story. We're for real. Yes. Oh, I think what you guys told me. Yeah, I told him. I told him. And then she got someone, and then she blocked you, and then I blocked you. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, in public, we didn't know. No, but I just, I, I was like, bro, she's so fine on the podcast, right? And she hit you up, right? We clipped it, and she was like, "What's her? What's his at?" And then she. She hit me up, and I was like, bro. That's right. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. get up those. I fumbled, bro. <laughs> you she f- was a fumbled the bag. Nah, I was like, yeah. could have got us out the hood. Yeah, she probably going to watch this again. Shit. Cut it, Ooh. cut it. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> cut it, cut it. Hey, have you seen her OnlyFans? No, I haven't. He lying. Nah, I'm saying. No, I haven't. I'm in a group chat, and they send it to me. And like, nah, he subscribed. He fucking lying. He subscribed to that shit. I am subscribed. He bro. was the one who sent it. No, no. Hey, you ever start OnlyFans? <laughs> Would I ever start OnlyFans? Yeah. That's a good question. He's a like, hell yeah, uh, Lincoln Bio. <laughs> hell <it>. yeah. <laughs> it's already up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, I don't think I would. I say mm-hmm. that as, a lot as a joke. Like, I say it a lot as a joke. But I don't think I would. Nah. Because mm-hmm. I want people to take me serious, too. What, what, been, what if some girl's like, she's kind of big on OnlyFans, she's like, you want to collab? Would oh, you yeah. Yeah? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, we don't even got to record. <laughs> it's, it's all good. <laughs> I'll turn off the camera and tell you we gotta do it again. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't recording. You gotta run to. You can collab with Shadi Bay. There you go. That's your, that's oh, your answer right there. Leave it out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you the one that brought nah, it up. Nah, I can't take his girl, bro. I can't. Oh, that's the bro code right there. Well, that is bro code, right. bro. That I is want bro code. her, bro. That's me. That's yeah, all you, cool, bro. bro. Well, you better get on block quick, right, bro. Nah. Oh, boy. No, no. All right, bro. We got another beatbox shot. Come on. I'm already halfway done with mine. I hope I hope y'all halfway. Cut up. I'm basically done. I took one sip. Shh. I'm not halfway. Man. I have work tomorrow. Bro. Mm. It's good for you making it in time. It's all good. Uh, hey, so um, you say you recently um moved out, right? Yeah. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, you're living with your boys over there and behind the yeah. camera. So, uh, so how what how is it different? Is it your first time like no. living on your own? Actually, uh, when I had first turned 18, I was working at, um, I had a really good paying job as a sheet metal worker. Like, I would make, like, all the metal that goes on roofs. Mm. And uh, I had moved out when I was 18. So, as soon as I turned 18, I applied for some apartments. I moved out there. And, like, I was doing that for, like, two years or, like, a year and a half. And then I had taken out a car from the dealer. And I was like, you know what? Like, I'm still young. I could always move back in with my parents. And uh, the money I put in for rent, I could just put it towards the car. So that's what I did. I finished paying off the car, and then I just moved back out. I mean, it's different still because, like, you know, I got more people. But I think it's actually more, like, better. Because before it was just, like, me and my dog. <laughs> and Nico? Now it's me. No, it was a different dog. Oh, it was a different dog? Yeah, so now it's me, my dog, and now my two friends. So. Yeah. That's kind of dope, though. Yeah, is, it is pretty dope. Is, is it, like, they be, in all, they be in all the content now or what? Like, what do you mean? That they live with you now? Like Yeah, we do a lot of content together. Yeah, yeah if anything, like... All the most recent videos, like, we're all pretty much tagged in all of them. Mm. But um, it helps out a lot. It helps out a lot. All right. The real question is, who will you kick out first, Nico or one of your boys? 
The boys gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Nico you... wouldn't survive a day in the street. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> you that bougie? Yeah, he's that bougie. He's very attached. He'll probably like cry depression. Oh, yeah. For the people that don't know who very Nico attached. is, is his dog. Oh, what's what's his breed? It's a, he's a Frenchie, a Frenchie yeah, right? Yeah, okay, nice I didn't want to butcher or nothing. Pop a picture of Nico. <laughs> Boom, he's out there. Gotta take Nico. <laughs> Bro, Abel had a, a nice ass dog too for like two weeks, bro, and he got fed up. <laughs> he was destroying his whole house and everything, his uh, couches. Same thing with mine. I had a, I had a, what was it? The um, border collie and a husky destroyed my entire house. I had a husky, bro, made a hole in the couch, and my mom was like, nope. Yep, that's what go. happened with mine too. And I was like, no, no, no. She's like, nope, no, get that shit out of here. To show my <laughs> curtains, my sofas, everything. I had to, I gave her away to get home though, because like I had a friend who owns a rancho. And she was like, oh, I'll take her in. And a lot of people wanted to take her in because it was, like, a really pretty husky. But she was, like, she was, like, blonde with, like, um, she was, like, white with blonde spots. So she was, like, very bougie. But then I was like, nah, le conviene mejor, like, well, it's without more living in a rancho than in someone's house. Yeah. She could run around and everything. Mm -hmm. well, what was, what was, uh, it was a her or him? It was a girl. It was a girl. What was yeah. her name? Chanel. Chanel. Yeah, I still have her tag, and uh, it's actually on Nico's tag. Oh. So, on like, uh, Nico's collar, it has the Chanel tag. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sounds bougie. Chanel. Chanel. I got, I got Miss uh, Chanel. I got a fucking wiener dog. <laughs> <laughs> it was a tough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got I finesse. I got finesse because they told me it was going to be a different dog, like a whole completely different dog, right? <laughs> they sent me pictures and everything. <laughs> And then when I got it, and then it's until he was a Doberman. Like, <laughs> I'm like, this don't look like the pictures. Fuck. I know somebody that happened to the twin was a Doberman, but it was like the Doberman pinchers or whatever, the, the little tiny ones that look like Dobermans. Oh yeah, that's, that's basically yeah. what that. Yeah. Look like the. <laughs> look like the dog from Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> nah, but shout out Bella though. She's cool. Yeah, her name Bella. Man, pop a picture of Bella. Hey, uh, you you gotta be cool oh, before for the guy charge ten dollars for Bella too, boy. A little hot, yeah, little wiener dog. <laughs> now, what's something um you didn't get to do that you're gonna do this year? Why something I didn't get to do that I did this year, Fuck. or that I'm gonna do, or yeah, that you're I... gonna do this year that you wasn't able to do last year? Uh, well, I'm for sure trying to hit Hawaii. Mm. For sure trying to hit Hawaii. I want to hit it for my birthday because my birthday's in September, so I think that's like a perfect time to hit Hawaii. Mm -hmm. But that's like the summertime and everything. So I didn't get to do it last year. I forgot what I did. Oh, I think um, at the party we were at two weekends ago, mm -hmm. they celebrated my birthday there. And the next day, um, they celebrated in Pico. So I collabed with Pico Landia to celebrate my birthday. So oh, was shit. So it was Yeah, lit. they gave me like, what was it, like 40 tickets? God. Yeah, they gave okay. me 40 tickets to, to like. To give away? Yeah, no, for like all my friends. They're like, how many oh, do you need? I was yeah. like. I was like, can I invite like as many friends as I want? They're like, yeah, I invited forty of them. This man brought the Bro, family. It was tree. like a hundred and eighty dollars general admission for that day because I think Gerardo Ortiz was playing. I don't even. Ha I don't even have forty <laughs> friends. <laughs> uh, you, all my you friends are like in this room <laughs> yeah they were like they were like for real like 40 i was like hell yeah 40 it was like four parking passes because not everybody was gonna park everybody was gonna uber but um i don't think they even used all four parking passes but yeah the lady at the at the ticket place she was like she's like i'll give you 20 right now 20 another 20 minutes we're still printing them all out i was like fuck it damn yeah. the whole house went over there the whole yeah arizona house <laughs> the arizona house was out there Holy shit. No, it was more we have a picture like of all of us just right there and that wasn't even all of us because some people were dancing too Damn. Yeah, we went deep. That's that's the best event you think you hit? It was either that one or the one in Arizona. Oh, on the shit. Armando Fest. Oh, it's Armando Damn. Plato on that one. Damn. Yeah, it good sounds like you got Plato. in it. Yeah, that's a good fight. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I had first uh, actually met my boy Cash. Uh, he was getting into the fight. And I <laughs> <laughs> he was bringing it up all the time. Because <laughs> they were all like getting into a fight. Because I forgot who started it. But I was like. I was kind of mad, too, because I was, like, you know, drinking, too. So I was moving everybody out the way. Like, everybody that was in the, like, who was fighting, I was moving them. And even Cash was like, bro, really pick me up. Move me like nothing. Like, I was like nothing. Because I was just tossing people around to get uh. to the center. And that's what I called. I hadn't even, like, I didn't even know him like that. And I was just picking him up and, like, throwing people around, <laughs> trying to get to the middle. Yeah. But some, uh, some of them played, was, like, crazy. Fuck. When's the next Pico? Is it announced or not? I mean, or I think that people like every weekend. Oh, they do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, they yeah, do? it goes like yeah. every weekend. Uh, but you just gotta look out for like the good dates. Yeah, yeah like the, when the, a good group of her yeah, playing. Yeah, good group comes out. Yeah, you know what's funny? Me and Abel were actually gonna go to Pico like what mm, three weeks ago. Yeah, around there. Oh, when you guys go, let me know. We'll go. Oh, we out there? Yeah, Hell we yeah, together, bro! We're gonna vlog the out there. Out, bro. Uh, by any chance, do you know who? Uh, by any chance, you know who those chicos toxicos are? Those chicos, no, I no. Don't. Oh, what well, they're like, um, kind of just like, starting. They're coming up too. They're like content creator and stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, we met them. Do you know who Bradley Martin is by any chance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so we went to his oh, gym. Oh, I saw that you guys went to his his, his gym, right? Yeah, his one year, right? Yeah. So I'm telling like all the the popping YouTubers you see all the time, they was there, and then yeah. Uh, Sky, Breeze, Sky Bria was there. <laughs> damn, oh my God, God. Damn. Pop, pop the picture. <laughs> oh, pop the picture. <laughs> I think I saw him post it or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when you guys so posted bad. it. Yeah. Bah. Hey, bro, do we look the same? A little bit. Confuses, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Little yeah. Confuses. I know for sure he confused. He'd yeah. be like, I don't know which one of y'all I told, but I told one of y'all. <laughs> nah, but yeah, we we was gonna um, there was hell. There was like one of the coolest people there. They kind of yeah. they're already kind of big, but they're still in like on the come ups, and uh, there was like. Oh, we're going to go to Picolandia. Y'all should come with us. Da, da, da. And me and Abel were like, damn, we were only going to go there late for that one night. So yeah. drive there and come back the same night. No hotel or nothing. And me and Abel were like, damn, should we go? Because if we go, we're going to get fucked up. We're not going to be able to drive back from LA to the Bay. And then we're like, you know what? We're going to go. <laughs> and we went to Boo Barn like five minutes before it closed. Me and Abel spent like $400 on oh, an outfit because we didn't have no like Picolandia outfit. Four hundred dollars on the outfit, we didn't end up going. You didn't go. <laughs> we didn't end up going. Bruh, bro. We didn't. I would have gone, gone if I wasted four hundred. I would have gone <laughs> back to the boot bar. Bro. <laughs> so the thing is, bro, we would, bro. After I spend the four hundred, I was like, I don't even want to go no more. Cause uh, I was like, we could still return it. Yeah. Cause it's not used. So that's what we did. The next week. Oh, we, you did. Return yeah, it. we oh, returned okay. it. We yeah, returned it. Well, oh, I mean, I kept some of the stuff. It's I just kept the jacket, but it, we didn't go because. I didn't look at my phone, bro. They texted me and they were like, "Oh, we're recording right now." The people that were recording, yeah, like, we didn't. I didn't see it. We yeah, we go shower and shit. And I seen the hella like forty minutes later. And I was like, "Fuck." Bro. Yeah, like it was. It was like hella late and stuff. And I was like, "Damn!" Yeah. By the time we get there, like, and get try to yeah. get in, and like, we still gotta drive back home. So we end, we didn't end up going, but. We'll, we'll oh, pop it up yeah, on the screen. Yeah, because I remember my hands went up hella high. <laughs> yeah, bro. You went hella high. I was like, you went for hella long. I was like, <laughs> now nah, I got to do that too. <laughs> You're like, fuck, <laughs> now nah, I got to match them. <laughs> bro, I took a fat ass shot that day Oh, yeah, your hands. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we both went up hella high. Yeah. I think after that way, I don't remember a lot of things that happened. <laughs> yeah, dead ass. Like 10 minutes after when you came out to me and told me that, that, that we clicked and everything. Nah, it was the alcohol talking. I might, I might love him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because I remember for sure we thought, but it was like it wasn't awkward at all when I first met you guys, huh? Nah, bro, it was cool. It was cool, hell yeah. Cool. We were giving roses and shit. All right, guys, we're back. A little break, you know, we had to take a little break because the cameras. But I think we're gonna wrap it up. We've been for how long? An hour? Run an hour? Nah, you know. I didn't even feel like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. It's probably the alcohol kicking in already. Talking about alcohol, y'all gotta take it. one more. Ah, uh, <laughs> the man that hasn't drink anything, selling us. One more, one more before we before end the podcast. Ball. Give me the buzz ball. I'll do both. Ah, ah. To end it. All right, all right, come on. Here. I'll do mine. What the fuck? Drink your shit, bro. What? Oh, damn. damn. <laughs> damn my bad. My bad. Damn. All right, hold up. Don't spill it, bro. Don't spill it. I'm going to try my best. Don't spill Next it. event. Are you going to do both? Yeah. Uh, that's right. Hey, this is for David. I don't know if you all can hear me. This is for David. This is for David. That's for me. Don't spill it, bro. Come on, he will represent. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh my God, he's spilling it. If it spills, it's because he's doing it right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, right. You actually mix both, it's not bad. It's oh, actually pretty cool. God, that's crazy. He doesn't need mic. I got you. I'm going to be drunk. Well, it's good. Yeah, this is. <laughs> I remember this. You can remember for sure. It's on camera. We're going to expose you. Hey, well, I need that way, clip. That tastes way better, bro. Did it? That wasn't even that bad. Alcoholic, right, bro. bro. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you guys. Shout out my boy Dave for coming on, bro. You already hey, know. Shout out to them for real. Hey, we finna have to go to Picolandia. Make sure y'all stay tuned because yeah. we finna vlog out there. Anything you want to tell the cameras, David? All you. Anything. 
Shit, um, I'm single. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Tap in. Nah, nah, nah. For real though, like how they had said, if you want to do this social media, take it serious, be consistent with it, because the only one judging is yourself. So like, just go all in. Oh my God. I'm talking about me. Yes, sir. Abel, anything you want to say before we head out? God did. God did. God did. God did. God did. You know nah, this man took right. a shot for God? That's right. <laughs> That's right. I don't know if that's a... <laughs> that's right. <laughs> nah, I think all I gotta say, bro, is thank you, David, for coming out, bro. I appreciate it, for real. Every time I'm with you, it's always a vibe. Um, and you're a chill-ass person. Music is coming out, bro. Yeah. More vlogs, maybe. More content. Picolandia. For in sure. In March, another event. We got a couple things, bro. Yeah, we, we got a lot, so y'all keep... Keep up, keep up. Hell yeah. So. All right, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all liking, subscribe. More podcasts coming soon. More more vlogs coming soon. Shout out my boy Jonathan. Shout out my boy Omar for always helping in the podcast. And we out. We out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, where the tortas at now? Nah, I was kidding. <laughs>